Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's head shave and product profiling. Today we are product, we're profiling a product from Sterling Soap Company for the fall, Hot Apple Cider. This was a gift to me, provided me by Jeremy York. Thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate it. I've been using this for a couple of days now, throughout last week as well. And I figured it'd be a good time to go over that, especially where we're, uh, we are right into fall. Though you wouldn't know that today in the Northeast, it is practically air conditioning weather. However, we're still going to shave with this and give it a shot and let you know what we think. So, again, this is uh, Sterling Soap Company Hot Apple Cider. There's the uh, label right there. And I also have the accompanying aftershave here. So, I don't always have the accompanying aftershave, but today I do. So, I thought, why not, right? All right, before we get into that, let's get into the holiday day of the day. Today's National Drink of Beer Day. Now, it is the fall. My suggestion would be try Sam Adams if you haven't tried any. They have all kinds of choices. And for fall scents, they have stuff like Oktoberfest and Jacko, to name a few. And Jacko is in regards to Jack or Lantern, for all you dirty-minded people. All right, moving on. This particular soap is uh, available at Sterling's website for $13.60 for this particular container. Uh, it is, as you can see, 5.8 ounces. I think that's quite a bit. Some people say that's average. For me, I think that's a lot. So, But anyway... Nonetheless, that's how much that is. As far as the aftershave is concerned, it's $13.45. As you can see, it comes in right here. Uh, you can add menthol if you want to this, but why would you do that to a hot apple cider? It's beyond me. It's definitely not my thing. So, but anyway, uh, incidentally, there is also a warning on the site that uh, the product does use actual cinnamon. So those of you that have sensitivity to uh, cinnamon in general on your skin, you may want to uh, keep that in mind. I have sensitivity to cinnamon. And I'm going to just throw that right away. I don't care. So if I get to, if it burns me, oh, well, that's, that's my own foolishness, right? All right. Moving on, as far as the scent notes are concerned, it does have apple, cinnamon, and clove. The ingredients uh, is, are going to be listed in the description below. But suffice it to say, it is tallow-based. And again, it does have cinnamon, so use caution. Let's talk about the rest of the gear. We are going to go with the Fat Boy. A little vintage today, Gillette Fat Boy. I think we're going to set this baby. I have it on an 8. I'm going to dial it down to a 7 because I'm gonna load it up with a Wilkinson sword, also a Gillette product. Uh, uh, this is on its like third use, and I found that Wilkinson swords can, for me, kind of go either way. Sometimes they're really, really aggressive, and sometimes they're not. So I always throw caution to the, or not caution to the wind, I always err on the side of caution with this part and put the blade inside of a, an adjustable razor for me. I found that when I don't do that, I tend to, it just tends to be a little bit of a rougher shave. So that is the rest of the gear. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this stuff. Oh, you know what? Actually, it's not the rest of the gear. Let's talk about the bowl. CD shaving bowl here, done up by a friend of mine who owns a, a, a pottery company, uh, Studio uh, 550 in Manchester, New Hampshire. She makes pottery. Reach out to her on her website as well if you're interested. Uh, but as you can see, I smashed a sample of the soap all on the bottom, ready to go on that. But that's not going to do us any good if... We don't have a brush. We're gonna go with Autumn Bliss. These are the autumn colors. I had this custom made for me. It's, uh, actually, it's a birthday gift by uh, E.B. Lathworks. Eric over at E.B. Lathworks made this uh, a couple of years ago. Actually, last year, I think. So as you can see, awesome, awesome handle. Really uh, nice, dense, luxe knot. This thing's great uh, bowl lathering knot. So we're gonna go ahead with that. We're gonna get this thing, uh, we're going to get some water in the bowl and get ready for this shave. So we'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. <clears throat> water in the bowl, ready to start uh, begin to lather here. So let's do this. Now, as I found, sometimes I tend to uh, overhydrate with uh, nat with badger uh, brushes. I tend to forget how much water that they tend to hold compared to synthetic. So we're going to start that a little bit. We'll go a little light on the water right now. Now, as far as this scent is concerned, I found this soap scent to be initially heavy. Uh, it, it lightens up really fast though. So, uh, you know, throughout the day, I'd say it's probably seven to 10 uh, on the scent strength scale, which I think is a good thing uh, because as much as I like the smell of hot apple cider, it's not something that I necessarily want to smell like all day, um, but it is kind of a nice refreshing scent to, to pick up as you're stepping out, getting ready to go for work on that, you know, crisp fall day, at least I found. So I liked that quite a bit. Uh, Sterling for me is generally a good performer. You know, they're not the slickest in the world. Post shave is okay, uh, but I found that they tend to be pretty decent. 
and I usually if I have a bad shave and I'm shaving with their stuff, it's not because of them. It's because of the hardware or something that I did that was really kind of stupid. So let's, uh, while we're mixing this up and getting ready to shave here, yeah, scent is really nice. The cinnamon really does jump out at you. Um, it doesn't, the, as far as the face shaves, shaves are concerned for cinnamon wise, uh, it doesn't tend to bother me all that much. Um, but I have had soaps where it does, cinnamon does. So, you know, just be careful with that. But uh, as far as on my head goes, this definitely doesn't, doesn't bother me at all. All right. We have plenty of soap ready to go, loaded. So we're just gonna get some of that water off my head here from the shower. All right, let's get right into this. Pass number one. So let's talk about something here. I have some new people that have started wet shaving that I know, and they kind of get into it. And you know, they don't. Some of them don't have a ton of money, and that's okay. You don't need a, a ton of money. And they're, you know, they're like, oh well. You know, really, I, I, what's the best soap out there? What's it, you know, and I tell them, I said, well, I give them a couple of things to try. And I'm like, you're fine with doing this, fine with doing that. Here's the thing. A lot of people get stuck on what is the best soap. What is, what can I shave with that's going to give me that ultimate Goldilocks shave? And a lot of people... They hear, they see the prices on some of the higher end soaps and they, and they hear about how slick these are. Oh, there's nothing slicker than this. There's nothing slicker than that. And they get stuck on that. And, and even, even some of the hobbyists and they, well, I, I got to get his brand new one. I got to get his, his newest base. So the question then therein lies is, okay, do you need a high end soap? Do you need a high end soap to enjoy wet shaving? Now, since this is strictly my opinion and I'm not here to tell you whether you need a high-end soap personally maybe you do me I don't I I there are a whole bunch of artisans out there that make soaps that I some I consider high-end and others I consider mid and others I consider low-end but the mid ones the low ones you can still get great shaves out of these. You know, and you got to remember when something is not considered a high end soap, there could be a billion different reasons for that. Maybe it's, it's the scent isn't just the, isn't there, you know, scent strength that people just don't consider it a good scent. Maybe it's the post shave, which, you know, quite honestly, if you have dry skin after a shave and it's, and it's, you know, not bothering you, it's just, you have a dry, you tend to have dry skin after using this this particular soap or that particular soap just throw some balm on it and you'll be fine you know in my opinion unless you're getting really really bad irritation then you probably want to try something else but if you're getting a good shave and just you know otherwise you're saying well you know my skin's a little dry you know is it to you is that a high-end soap well no but does that mean you throw it away no you don't need to you do not need to make it a goal to stock your shelves with high-end soap. It's just not, it's not absolutely necessary in order to get good shaves or have a good experience for me anyway. I have a ton of shaving soaps and I have them from all different artisans. Some are not even in business anymore and they made great product just, you know, things changed in their life where they they no longer wanted to or were no longer able to produce shaving soap at least in the in the uh demand that they had on them so i have other soaps or i have soaps that are from that i've paid good amount of money for that are considered high-end soaps that are great performers that give me an awesome shave almost every time i use them but there are other soaps out there that I have that companies that I use that are considered mid or lower end soaps that I also enjoy. You know, I know going into that particular shave that, you know, hey, I'll need to throw a bomb on afterwards or 
I might have to do a little something extra or whatever, but it, uh, maybe it's the scent that, you know, this particular company has a scent that I like that I can't find anywhere else. So I make their soap work to what I need it to be so I can, you know, it, so I can get the shave that I want out of it. And then there's other times too where soaps are just fine and it's not even the scent. It's just, you know, it's it, maybe it, it lathers easier. It just, you know, it, maybe it, it takes less time to lather than the higher end soap. But, may, you know, there's, there could be a trade-off. Maybe it takes less time, but, you know, it dries me just a little bit in the end. So, I don't, you know, I, I would caution people when they see somebody out there who says, this stuff is the greatest or that stuff is the greatest. It may be. Even I say that. There are certain I mean, I'll tell you right now, it's real hard to beat A&E. You know, they, they, got, they have some really, really nice stuff. But does that mean I would tell you and anybody else, don't bother buying Razor Rock? No. They're good priced. They're less money. They get great shaves. You know, if the post shave is, that, is as good? No. But it doesn't mean they're garbage. It just means they're different. They're, you get a different experience. At least I get a different experience. So... Um, but anyway, so that's my uh, little take on that metal spiel there. I'd say if you want high-end soap, great, but you don't have to have it to get a good wet shave. Just keep that in mind. So even though we, we, you know, we YouTubers review a lot of stuff, don't feel like you have to necessarily jump out or save up to get that because that's not necessarily the case. We're just reviewing it either for fun or just to let people know it's out there. So, all right. So that's the first two passes. Really good shave. I really enjoyed this scent. It's still pretty strong. So we're going to finish this up and we'll see you guys in the post shave. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the post shave. As you can see, the shave has been completed. Dome of perfection. Dop status. No nicks, cuts, areas of irritation. Smooth as glass. Ready to go for the post shave. All right, let's throw in some Thayer's Witch Hazel Peach Scented. Ugh. Yeah, I know. We're getting there. We're getting there. Almost done with the bottle. Now, I've been feel like I've been saying that for like over a year, but that the thing how it is like the worst scented stuff you have seems to like carry on forever. But I just refuse to get rid of it. All right. So moving on with this shave, uh, we'll let that kind of settle in. We'll talk about it. Uh, as I said before, I tend to have a sensitivity to cinnamon, and despite this warning, I threw caution to the wind and hastily hazarded the spiciness of the cinnamon and found that the uh, I rather enjoyed this shave and all the other shaves I've done with this particular soap. Uh, incidentally, I'm not so sure that I showed the inside of the container, but this is what the soap looks like. It's kind of a dark scent to, or a dark uh, coloring to it. Uh, I've been scooping it out of here. I have not hit it with the brush, so uh, that's kind of what it looks like right there. That's why I keep it shut because I don't need to dry it out. Another thing. This particular soap, I've noticed, uh, as far as sterling is concerned, it feels softer for some reason. Um, it's not a cream, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying it's way softer consistency than I've noticed with some of the other stuff, and I've got a lot of sterling. I don't know why that is, but it just seems to be the case. So, um, Now, having said that, this particular scent I found is a fall scent, and it's an early fall scent so although it does have a small window in my rotation it's not something i would necessarily use throughout the whole year it does have a window and it does have a place and i definitely would be using this throughout uh probably every year uh, i will definitely use either this one or something similar to it i really like the way that this smells i'm not much of a gourmand person but it just really gets you in the mood for fall you know especially if you're just not having a good day and you just want to smell this up and then go for a walk outside this is perfect for that um, and again it doesn't last all day long I found that the scent dissipates fairly quickly compared to some of the other sterling products that I've used so it's good for that because you don't smell like apple cider all day long so uh, let's throw on the aftershave here it comes in this standard decanter or standard bottle rather there's the stopper on top Yeah, you know what? Throw a little bit on there because why not? Again, doesn't seem to bother my skin at all, so I'm pretty happy to put it on there and continue to use it. 
Uh, I would, the only time I did notice that uh, I ran into an issue was uh, when I shaved directly after a workout. Pores were wide open and uh, it was a little bit of a stinging then, but outside of that, I haven't really had any issues with it. But if you're not sensitive to cinnamon at all, then who cares and it doesn't matter. All right, so let's just recap the gear real quick. For a brush, we use the EB Lathworks Autumn Bliss brush custom made with a Lux Knot. We used Gillette. Uh, I forget which year this, this is, but it's a Gillette Fat Boy. I had this, uh, this boy set on a 7. And, of course, we loaded it up with the Wilkinson Sword blade right here, stainless. And then, of course, the Thayer's Witch Hazel, the aftershave. And we use the bowl. So that's all our gear. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the shave. If you have any questions about it, please put it in the comments section below or reach out to me as my contact information is also available. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. Feel free to contact me there. If you like this product and you wanted to comment on that, I'd love to hear from you. Or if you didn't, I'd love to hear from you. Either way, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Just make sure you knock that bell. That way you get a notification every time we do a new video here at CD Shaving. Because, folks, I do not follow a schedule. Having said that, thank you very much for joining me. If you shave today, have a great shave. Have a great rest of the day. And we'll see you guys and girls in the next video.